And so we begin our happy Don't Let Dad Die adventure. I'll be very successful, I'm sure. Oh. Got an apple. Alright. For a second there, I'm like, I'm gonna punch this tree, take blocks out of it, and build a house. Here it comes. Don't walk up to bears, kids. This is bad advice. <laughs> wow, what a rude way to feed a bear. I guess he's... I'm sneaking into his house or something? No? No, I was just rude? I think I was just rude when I threw it. How do I get across this deep river? Hello, I have an apple. Help me cross this river and you get an apple. <laughs> this is bullying. Bear's gonna go to school. Bye. See you later. That's really funny, though. That, that that's good. That's that's neat. So she's worried about the fate of Bear. So she creates an entire solution for it that's not actually in the story because the story just casually just like, ha, stupid Bear. Bye. This is bad morality for killing the kids. But here I go. I wonder if she's gonna keep doing that. Go around them. Oh, here we go. Let them go have their dominance thing. Wait, am I about to pretend to be a deer or something? How'd they get up here? This is such an unexpected divergence from the rest of the game. Alright, here we go. Wacky, floaty... Adventure time. I don't think they care about you. I think putting the antlers on was actually more dangerous. You might be seen as a target. <laughs> and the glasses have like no perspective so they're just like just on their noses now they're best friends you can tell from how they're ignoring each other and not looking at each other like good friends would do what do we got here The 
tallest tree in all of the land. Hello, little beetle friend. Can I nab you? Running away. Gotta feed the bird. An acorn? It's probably gonna be the grub. Do I use the acorn to block the hole? Bad news for you, buddy. Ha! You're gonna die. You're going to be ripped to shreds. You must die so they can live. Might kill them, I'm not even sure. Congratulations, Bug, you get to survive because of the compassionate one. Baba不忍心看莎莎这么难过，把她叫来床边，告诉她，没事了，没事了。爸爸只是要睡着了，只要你好好的。爸爸什么都不怕。莎莎难过的哭了，她的眼泪滴在泥土上，渐渐的，土里冒出嫩芽，嫩芽长出枝叶，枝叶开出花苞，花苞绽放
doing that kind of stuff while also having the sickness. It's like, I can't, this is a bizarre coincidence almost. The cold front comes in along the shore around this time of year. Meishin is prone to illness, and we must not risk any setbacks to her competitive readiness. I am positive you won't want to see that happen. Thus, just as before, I will have to withdraw her attendance from this trip. Rest assured, I will arrange a separate educational outing at another time. I am confident there are comparable trips we can go on that will be both instructive and fun for her. Please be understanding and considerate of Meishin's con uh, particular needs. With sincerity, Du Feng Yu. Is that the cancelled trip? Hmm. The other cancelled trip? Uh. Oh. like an overwhelming overwhelming zoetrope of myself as the father figure I figure oh I'm disoriented now where was I well that's so first second third right so that's where I was going next I think oh that spinning had me at risk of losing track of which way I was going whoops oh is there like a ton of wine now because of me brewing the wine in the previous time so it's not just a zoetrope of me but it's a zoetrope talking about something growing and blooming in this sinister way of like this this demand that she develop as they expect her to overwhelming ooh that's not good let's see how great it's going inside oh 9月19日天氣晴一個人在家的時候我也覺得很害怕 越想越紧张，然后就会跟以前一样，头好痛，不能呼吸，一直发抖，很咳嗽。好久没有这样了，不知道为什么。明明同学带着都好好的，但我就会想很多，很担心会有不好的事情。常常吸不到空气的感觉
What did he choke on? There's stuff coming out of his mouth. It's not... It's in 3D. So it's not just on the floor. This poor snake. That's a nightmare. How did it even get in there in the first place? Well, I guess we're not having wine tonight. <laughs> How's things... Oh, right. The eyeball room. I'm in the eyeball zone. Did they repair the tank? Did they repair the tank but then not get a new fish? Well, I, I imagine that was just metaphorical. She murdered the arowana, but I don't think the tank would have broken for any reason. Just a... Uh, this is gonna loop. We're not gonna get an answer. At least not yet. For my birthday that year, Meishin played Home Sweet Home. The date in the bottom reads 0716. That's the replacement picture we took. It fixed the missing one. The badly taken one. Brand? Creepy breathing sound, I think? What do we have left? The relief fragment and the tulip. I, I imagine we plant that in the actual planter. That seems straightforward. The relief may be a little more abstract. At this point, I'm more or less just sticking to a loop of going through all of the eras in chronological order. It's colored in here. Is that because I turned them in? Right, the creepy music's still playing. God, look at that one go. That one's pretty aggro. Okay, yeah, I think we're I think that's all we get. These double gates. I guess I'm used to having two doors out front. I'm just not used to the two doors being leading to an interior. These are all filled in. Never forget, an illness can be eliminated. All suffering originates from the evil within us. Ooh, pray that your disease away. God, big outer worlds territory. If you if you fall sick, it's not our company's bad treatment of you or disease being a thing that's natural. It's you being unethical. It was a darkness inside of you, and it's your fault. Article submission, smiling under the lens. Du Feng Yu. Yeah, this says, so this says they lost the winning streak. So I think that means that that's... I think they're reinforcing the tension of that, like... They just keep shouting 88 over and over again. Like, oh my god, is there another point? Did she make it? But she never does. They're trapped in that moment. Looping. Let's test if the thing goes here or not. pieces are incomplete and cannot be placed yet. Okay. I'm inclined to think that means we're actually done with that entire room now. 
That's interesting. I think the the I think they might use these articles as an indicator of how far you are. So I can probably just alternate between the other two for now. Either way, I know that we're planting the plant next. I just don't necessarily remember which room it is in out of these two. I guess at the beginning would make sense, because then you can come back later and see it grown. As a sequence. Yeah. That was creepy. Oh, here it comes. Oh. I hope it blossoms beautifully in the future. It's already pretty good. Tulips, isn't that what a blossom tulip looks like, actually? Or is it still bulby? It's pretty bloomy right now, so it's hard to tell. And I don't mean the plant. <laughs> uh, friend? Someone coming for me? It's like the story, the plant. And that's part of the surprise too. If it, the the dividing wall is only there in some of the in some of the years. That's why there was that weird moment at the beginning where I was suddenly in a different time. Communication between child and parent is crucial. Do not neglect to show affection. Oh. I'm sad. I think they neglected to show aff affection. Here's the tulips. What a cool visual sequence. The way they denote this stuff. I like the three room puzzle. Shibu 我偷偷把最漂亮的一朵藏在书里面，这样写草念故事的时候，爸爸就会看到了。The flower I got was representative of the one that she hid in the book as a gift. Script tulip. In the faint candlelight, the husband sits disheartened at his writing desk. Ugh. I can't think of anything. Am I reaching the limits of my creativity? Outside the room, the child sits on the floor, fiddling with a piece of paper. The husband glances over and notices that it's one of, of his rejected scripts. Hey! Put that down this instant! The husband rushes forward, grabs the paper, and finds it has been hold, folded into a flower. Look! I made this tulip for you! With mixed feelings, the husband takes the paper flower. These, these papers that were despised by the world were treasures in the eyes of his child. Oh. Oh. There's a man on it. The three fragments are going to be the three members of the family. Oh, that's her room now. All bloomed up. Would you look at that? I'm really gonna need that number on the portrait right about now. Because it feels like basically everything else is run out. Numbers on my favorite picture. 
Wait. I went back and took a photo. Is the date or time on that photo the code? Wine, the essence of earth and water. As it circulates within, your chi is connected, your body warmed, and the chill forced out. Friday science tip, Dr. Shin Hong's column. Melancholy is a precursor to anxiety. Sudden changes in, envir in living environment can exasperate condition. Daily dexterity. Origami tulips. They like tied to the puzzles, don't they? Hey, you're the one that's left, aren't you? Oh seven sixteen. Is that the final puzzle? I hope so. My inventory doesn't have any items left in it, so it's got to be some a number I know now. I dig that we kind of diverged into like a, a escape room sequence. Hey! Um... Oh, I'm a baby. Crawling through a really creepy area. Oh, they're supposed to predict my future because they fucking put that on you. That one looks heavy and dangerous. Hmm. Don't squish the baby. It's so much to put that on a baby. From the moment you're born, your commodification begins. It's terrifying. And here I am, performing. <laughs> There was someone in the audience glaring at you? Oh, she drew a little microphone. This was her hideout. In her parents' room. <sighs> I hate that ritual of dangling job iconography in front of a baby at age one to try to figure out how they're going to be valuable later, like how they're going to prove themselves and, and define... It, it, it pushes towards this idea of defining you by your job, like that's your identity and your worth. Baby gra birthday grab. Mountain path exterior. Hearing news of the child's first birthday, distant friends and relatives come to celebrate. When you mature, you'll definitely f be accomplished. You can become an imperial officer. Or you can be a merchant. Being a doctor would be good. How about an a general? You will be prosperous. Gain notoriety. Ac acquire prestige. They all take turns to touch the child's head as a blessing of luck, a token of safety, and a huge wash-your-hands-first risk. 
Kind of fucking dangerous. Ah, let's get a lot of people together and all touch a young child. There won't be any health risks tied to that. Things have quieted down a bit. I'm not being actively hunted as much. But there we go. We're about ready to put the seal in, I think. 